Hello everybody, Arms Inc. here. And today, after um, chatting with Hollow Point, uh, my Hollow Point, uh, I'm watching one of his videos where he talks about how he didn't have to uh, fill out any paperwork to buy something. Uh, I kind of went on a little rant and mentioned Hawaii's gun laws. And I realized there's too much just to even explain in a comment. Uh, the whole process of actually buying a gun. So I decided to do a quick video on how to buy a gun. And when I say quick, it could be, I have no clue how long this video is going to take. So let's start off. You're at the gun shop. You see a, a firearm you'd like to purchase. Or your friend is some, has a firearm that they want to sell and you want to buy a gun. And you've never bought a gun before. So first what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're even able to buy it you're going to need to acquire, acquire a long gun permit and in Hawaii I just lost the other paper here it is okay. in Hawaii it varies upon what county you are which counties are divided up by islands so what island you are on on how your permit process is going to go but they all are relatively sim similar um, in Honolulu, Oahu you have to go down to the police station and the only police station that will take it is the one that is off of Ward uh, in downtown Honolulu, Honolulu if you go to any other police stations they're not going to be able to fill out your paperwork or uh, allow you to apply it or register a firearm there. In the outer islands, such as the Big Island, which is the other one where I have experience in registering firearms, the registration process is relatively uh, easier and more available to everybody. You actually go down to any police station that is in your local vicinity, and they have the hours that they're available for listed on the website. Uh, they're not open as long as Oahu's, however, they're open at every police station so if you live on the other side in Hilo you don't have to drive to Kona or vice versa and those are uh, towns that are on opposite sides of the island uh, in Oahu you do have to drive into one central location so once you get there you'll fill out your paperwork and your paperwork is going to consist on the big island it would be uh, your social security number your back, uh, they're going to ask you if they can do a background check and you're going to give a basic statement stating that you've never committed a crime or anything. In Honolulu, however, uh, there's a lot more paperwork involved. Uh, you have to fill out a medical release form. You have to give the name of your doctor, address, and uh, lo uh, phone number for your doctor. You have to give them your medical insurance card and copy of uh, information that is, you know, uh, relating to your medical insurance. There is also where you're employed. They want to know where you're employed, uh, what's your employment's number, and uh, they ask a few other questions that are along those lines. And then you also ask for the waiver for the background check and whatnot. So it is a longer, more complicated process. Uh, the wait times at each location in the Big Island, my experience, the longest I've ever had to wait was like a half an hour and it was just like a weird day where everybody was going to register their guns um, and they work as hard and as fast as they can they usually have multiple people trying to help and they'll have other clerks that will help you fill out the paperwork while the main firearms clerk is uh, busy and the process you know is made to be as easy as possible in Oahu however they have one clerk sometimes two that will help you behind bulletproof glass and you have to pass your firearm down through a trough and they have to inspect it and make sure that it's uh, legal. It's a kind of extended, long, complicated process. And I know that they're trying their best and they are well under... Um, there's, there's not enough people there helping them to do their job for them to be able to do it adequately. Which is kind of a disservice if you want people to register. Uh, so, let's show, let me show you what the actual permits look like. So after you do all this process, you have to wait 
14 days. However, on the Big Island, I had had times where it took them up to 20 days to do the background check. And it's just because of the number of people of applying and they only have so many clerks um, that are able to, to do it. In Oahu, they always seem to get it done on time. However, it's just, uh, you know, it's it was a, it's a pain in the butt to be there. Oh, by the way, the I don't know if I mentioned this, the waiting line, the longest I've ever waited in Oahu's uh, uh, registration line is two hours, and an average wait time of an hour. Uh, Mondays and Fridays are the worst days to go if you're planning on registering in Oahu. Uh, the amount of military people who will register on those days seems to be astronomical. And uh, that to import, if you're bringing in guns, it's a different process. And I'll explain that in a different video. But this is just buying a gun in state. So after you do all that, you got to wait 14 days, and then you're eligible to get your permit. Now, this is for a long gun specifically. I will go into the handgun section right after this. For the long gun section, your Oahu permit will look something like this. As you can see, acquisition for long guns and uh, shotguns and black powder only. In Hawaii, you're not required to register black powder. However, you need, you're supposed to have this permit in order to buy it. Um, this is basically allows you to go to the gun store. And there's no photo. Actually, there's no photo here. Uh, no, they don't take your thumbprint here. They just, you have this, and you take it to the gun store. And they say... Oh, that that's okay. That's uh, you, you know, you're allowed to buy your firearm, and they'll actually write the information on the back. This is just a copy of what it looks like. Uh, I wouldn't black out my real permit, but um, then they write your information on the back, and uh, of what the firearm is and whatnot. You bring your receipt uh, along with your long gun, shotgun, or rifle, uh, back to the police station, and you have to register. You have five business days to register um, however I've heard of people going you know six days or seven days and having no trouble they're just glad to have you register however I wouldn't do it myself because I don't want to get in trouble after you do that in Oahu you'll get a uh, firearms registration slip and this will state that you've paid that your firearms register of your serial number, have your social security number here, your uh, what your race is, date of birth, hair color, weight, what permit was a serial number, uh, date received, factory number, signature, and date. And uh, shows this one was issued by LT. And I bought this particular this is 22 that I bought at Ward Sports Authority. So that's for Oahu. Now the Big Island, your permit will look like this. Does not. This is for a long gun. This permit does not look, as you can see, very different from Oahu's permit. Uh, the Big Island's one is actually printed on copier paper versus Oahu's one that's just printed on. Um, it's like a special special kind of paper, and it just feels different. It's a very thin piece of paper. Uh, on the Big Islands one, they'll actually have your picture right here, and they will sign off and say date, and they'll have your name over here, some other information, your resident address, your name, and your permit number. Uh, they don't have your social security number on this, and they don't have a few other things, which I think is safer, and they actually have your picture, which I find to be safer. However, Oahu does things differently. So after you get this, after the 14-day waiting period, you can go and register your guns. And your registration slip is going to look different than Oahu's. Uh, first off, it's missing the top part, but it says, uh, on the top it says State of Hawaii, uh, County of Ho Hawaii, and it just says your number, uh, like what number it is, and uh, it gives the reference to what section of Hawaii's uh, uh, law it's following and if you look uh, they have similar information as uh, Oahu's however they don't include your permit number and they don't include um, uh, 
I think it's just a permit number. Um, is is the only thing they don't include. Uh, it's just the same. However, uh, on the Big Islands one, it will actually be a stamp. Like w when you have the real copy, it'll be a seal that they put over their signature and they impress it in to uh, uh, distinguish the original copy from a, a copy copy. Versus Oahu, where it is just done on carbon paper. It's like a piece of carbon paper that's behind this, so it's a you know the different kind of paper. It's not actually on this kind of paper. So that's the basic of applying for a rifle long gun. Now say, oh, you know I, that's good, but I, I really want a pistol for home defense. Well, to get a pistol, you have to before you do all of that. You have to go and take a hunter safety class or an NRA uh, uh, handgun safety course. Oh, real quick, I forgot to mention. Before you even get your permit and everything, you have to pay. Uh, in Hawaii, it was $19.25. Now the new price is $16.25, and that's to pay for your background check. And it's a one-time fee, good for the rest of your life. So I paid the $19.25. But I guess it's gone down now. I don't know why. So, anyways, this is the uh, the state of Hawaii natural resource. Uh, this is my hunting certification. I took the class, and I just bring this, and then I'm able to get a permit. So I do the same process. I'd apply for a permit, and if it's my first time, I would pay my money, fill out all the paperwork depending upon what island it is, and wait 14 days at minimum. Then when I go back, uh, uh, in the Big Island, they call you. On the Big Island, you call, and Oahu, you, um, whatchamacallit, they, you just go back on that date, and it's available. So um, after I do that, you do a similar uh, process as you would do for the long guns. However, for the long guns, you can buy unlimited amount of rifles, shotguns, uh, or any other long gun uh, such as black powder uh, as many as you want in that time frame for pistols however you can only buy one per permit so on your actual permit uh, permit for this one rather than saying long gun use it'll actually list your per uh, the firearm that you're buying make model and serial number will be listed on here uh, as well as barrel length and uh, action types of so revolver, semi-auto, single shot. Uh, you have to do that individually. And with a pistol, it's recommended that you keep your registration with you. Uh, long guns, I, you know, I, I've gone to other uh, shooting places and they and never had any problem. Uh, when I came to Oahu, I went to Magnum uh, 50 or something like that. And it's, it's an indoor shooting range, kind of expensive. Uh, they're nice people. It's just you know wasn't the right place for me. Um, but when I went in there and I brought my Taurus Raging Bull and I wanted to shoot it, they gave me a hard time because they said you have to have your registration with you. And I told them I'm from the Big Island. I registered it. You know uh, I have my registry and I, that's the one permit I didn't have with me. I had all my other long guns. I just didn't have it for my pistol. And they don't care about your long guns. They care about your pistol. So ever since then, I just keep a copy of my registration inside here. And uh, they explained to me that if I was in Oahu, they could have actually called and checked. But because it was from the Big Island, uh, Oahu's and the island systems don't match up, and there's no way that they can actually check uh, registration from one island to another. So uh, in the Big Island system, you know, they'd have to call the firearms clerk and the firearms clerk would have to go through and check the paperwork and see if they can find the paperwork and then pull it up. So I'd actually go and uh, call my parents in the Big Island and have them send me the copy. So that, that's, you know, that's kind of a unique point from it. Um, what else did I not cover? Oh, also, if you get denied for your permit, uh, you can get denied because you have had a DUI that's a reasonable to, that's reason to get den uh, denied TROs um, if you have a current TRO if you've ever been convicted of a violent felony or a violent crime 
uh, harassment actually considers, which is a misdemeanor, but it can be considered a, a violent crime and uh, remove you from buying a firearm if you've ever been in rehab. So if you, you know, 10, 20 years ago, you had an alcohol addiction and went to uh, alcohol meetings that records your, who you are, or, you know, if you went to a, uh, a rehab clinic that recorded who you were, you are prohibited from buying a firearm in Hawaii. Um, the amount of people that get denied are not, it's not tremendous. Uh, but out of a hundred something thousand, two hundred thousand permits that they issued last year uh, for long guns, they, I think they denied 40 or 50. That's just for Oahu, that's not for the outer islands. Um, so you're not very likely to get denied. However, I think that a lot of people who would get denied are just not applying. Uh, if you're a medical marijuana user, you're not allowed to own a firearm in Hawaii. If you... What else is there? Uh, there's a zillion other reasons why you would not be able to own a firearm in Hawaii. Uh, the, the one that really gets me is the, the rehab. Also, if you've had a dishonorable discharge from the military, you're, um, you're not eligible to own a firearm in Hawaii. Um, so it, it really is kind of screwy on how hard it is to get a firearm. And it kind of makes it, you know, uh, you not want to buy a firearm or you don't want to buy a firearm legally. And there are people I have heard of secondhand or whatnot that uh, have bought in firearms without registration and whatnot and will never register them because just how horrible the process is. Um, so, you know, it's, it, it's a horrific process. Um, another thing too is you do need to register your receivers. Uh, if you buy a used gun, you're required to register it. Uh, it is against the law to not register it. Now, if you own the rifle or shotgun before 1994, you are not required, and there was in Hawaii, you're not required to register. Um, long guns that were in Hawaii before that are, you know, considered yours. And at the time, there was a permit from I think 1992 or something like that, where you had to get a permit to get a long gun. However, you did not need to register them. Now you need to register them. To buy a pistol, however, though, and, ho and since my grandfather, who was born in the kingdom of, ho was born the year that Hawaii turned from a kingdom to a territory, um, and he was a police officer uh, in Pearl City for a, a while during World War II, he was required to register his pistols uh, that he had as a police officer. And even not as a police officer prior to that, he was a private eye, whatnot. So he, he actually had to register his firearm, his pistol. And so pistols have always been registered. Um, as far as NFA goes, there's no possible way you can get it unless you're a Class 3 dealer and there's only one of them in Oahu uh, or military or police. And it's for those particular, you know, for your actual duty. You can't own one as a private citizen in Hawaii. Um, that's going to conclude this whole, this kind of went on a lot longer than I expected. And I know I kind of rambled on. Um, if you need clarification on anything, just leave it in the comment box below. Uh, I do know a lot about Hawaii gun laws just because I've registered quite a few guns and, you know, just look to make sure everything was legal. Uh, if you have any concerns with registering, um, I can talk, you know, talk to you about it, explain it. Or if you want to know that your firearm would be legal in Hawaii to register. This now, this is just the if you bought it in Hawaii. Um, I'm going to do another one on importation, which I actually did a couple of those. Uh, I got some firearms from my uh, from family, and uh, while I was in the mainland, and I brought them back with me, and that's a whole different process. So if you're coming from the mainland and you want to register your firearms in Hawaii, I'll explain that one to you too. So, shoots, mahalo, uh, thank you for watching, and yeah, aloha.